This is eight pieces of soccer equipment that you need to elevate your game. Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Keelan Swales with Player Performance and let's get straight into the first item, counting down from eight with the cup inset. The cup inset is only $25 on Amazon, so it's reasonably cheap. It's also super easy to use, you just lay there and chill. I personally use it for the tightness in my quads, hips, IT bands, back. And ultimately the purpose of it is to improve blood flow in the muscle that's being cupped. However, there is no evidence to suggest that it actually does work. So it's all just personal preference, but personally, I love it. Now let's get straight into number seven with ladders. So now we've got the ladders, which is only $10 on Amazon. And for what you get, that is an unbelievable price. If you want to elevate your game by improving your agility, your speed, your eye-foot coordination, you will buy a set of ladders. Now I personally incorporate them into my warm-up, it gets your heart rate up, it gets your brain active, and it's a great way to keep adding them 1% to your game. Now just missing out on the top five, we've got the lacrosse ball. Amazon's choice is $10 for two balls. Now the lacrosse ball is a must for me because it replicates that deep tissue massage without actually having someone getting into them knots themselves. Some people like to do it prior to training or a game as well as post game or post training. I personally like to do them before bed so I can wake up feeling super loose. We're entering the top five here and we're starting off with a pretty basic one. It's just a set of cones. Now you can pick up a set of cones from Amazon for around $20 for 50 of them and if you utilize them correctly, they'll be so worth it. The primary reason why I think they're a necessity for you is because it makes your session that much more fluent, it makes it that much more efficient, maximizing your results. Then moving on from that, coming in at number four, we've got the long resistance band. The price ranges from around $50 for a full set, or you can get one for around $15 for just the one. But if you're only buying one, make sure you do your research on which resistance you want, as there's a variety of different resistance. The long resistance band is a bit of an unknown gem within the athletic world, in my opinion. It makes stretching that much easier. It helps with in-season injury prevention workouts, as well as muscle maintenance work during the season. And how great would it be to have it right now within quarantine? Now, if you haven't watched my at-home quarantine sessions, there'll be a link in the description below. Go check them out. I utilize this band quite a lot in there, so you can reach your potential. So that's the long resistance band and it was just missing out on top three spot. And if you're still with us, it shows how much you care about elevating your game. Make sure you go subscribe and click the notification button so you can continue this journey with me in elevating your game. So just coming in at number three, who would have guessed we've got a short resistance band. You can get these for as low as $5, which is an unbelievable price as well. You can also go a bit more expensive to buy a full set. Again, make sure you do your research on what resistance band you actually want. These are fantastic to activate your muscles for warm-ups. They're also unbelievable for injury prevention exercises during the season, as well as adding to your gym workout so you can get that extra retraction, building more muscle. So just missing out on the top spot, we've got the foam roller. You can get this long one for $25 or you can get a shorter one for $10. I personally like to use a long one just for spinal activation. However, the short one just does fine. So the one that I'm using here is a cheaper one. You can get more expensive ones like the grid textures ones which cost millions. However, I just don't think they do as good of a job even though they cost more money. Now I use a roller pretty much every day, sometimes three, four times a day. I'll use it to warm up. I use it to cool down as well as just general rolling during the day just to try and aid my recovery. Now jumping in at the number one spot, drum roll please. It's just a bag of balls. Who would have guessed? It's a super simple one, but that's all you need to improve. Just need a few soccer balls and the more, the better. It makes your sessions more efficient, makes them more fluent. And I'm telling you, it will genuinely maximize your results. So the cheapest decent ball I found was around $9 per ball and that was on Pro Direct Soccer. I'll link everything I talked about in the description below if you want to go buy it yourself. In my opinion, you'll need a minimum of six balls just to be as efficient as possible. So you can just keep doing them repetitions one after the other instead of going and chasing a ball that's 30 yards away because you've only got one or two. So just a nice quick checklist. Firstly, we've got the cones and balls to improve our technical ability. 
And then we've got the roller, the cross ball and the cupping set to aid our recovery for these sessions. Then we have the resistance bands to help with our injury prevention exercises. And then finally, we have a set of ladders to improve our speed and agility, as well as to help us stop tripping over the ball every time we do a step over. That being said, I know you've got a YouTube break coming up, meaning you've got to go work out. So go check this playlist out to know what to do for your at-home workouts. I'm Keelan Swales with Player Performance, and remember, we're here to elevate your game. Thank you.